Good day. Here's an introduction on using CQG's new algos. Our algos are all about delivering high quality fills with the end goal of reducing your trading costs. The platform utilizes a co-located low latency algo engine, which reacts in microseconds to changing market conditions for optimal order execution. Okay, to get started, you first want to ensure you have the algo order ticket up. So if we come to the upper left and we click on the three horizontal lines here, or the hamburger as we call it, and you can drop down to trade here, and here is where you'll find the algo order ticket. I'm going to left click there and it's going to add it to whatever window was just highlighted. If you see it added it here, I can always left click on this tab and like any of the other things in CQG Desktop, you can drag it where you want it. But I'm going to leave it right there. First thing I like to do is to make sure I'm linked up to a quote board. So if we come here, we can see our quote board has that blue color. I'm also going to come here and make sure that that's blue. That way any of the products I select in my board will also be reflected in my algo order ticket. With the algo order ticket here, if you left click here where it says CQG arrival price, here is where you're going to see all our different algos that are available. One thing to note, if you're not selected on a CME product, these algos are not going to populate. So here I'm going to focus on CQG SL Snipe. The SL Snipe order is a sniper stop limit order. This order is perfect for those who don't want to show any size and they only want to take liquidity. With the ALGO order ticket, if you look here, you're always going to see your account, the product you're trading, and the name of the ALGO. And if you look in the bottom left, you'll see this is where you enter your order quantity. Say we want to do 50 lots. This is where you're going to set the price for your ALGO. You can type in there or you can use the up and down arrows. You could also hit play. This is where, you, if you want it to be a limit order, it can be a limit order. Um, or if it was a market order, you can select market. But this is a stop limit sniper order, so it only has limit orders available. If you look, duration is here. Currently, day duration is the only duration we have for our algos. You could also park your algos by clicking here, setting all the parameters you want, and clicking buy or sell, and then you can activate those orders later if you like. Now let's go ahead and look at the CQG SL Snipe parameters. If you look here, the first one's price type. Price type is about how do I want my order triggered? Does it have to trade at my price? You know, you also have the options of bid, ask, opposite, and same. The next one is I won't ticks. I won't ticks is all about if I put a negative five here, for example, I'm saying if my order is activated and then the market moves five ticks away from me, I'm willing to pay up to get my order done. But I'm going to leave that at zero, which is default. And then there's the option to pause between orders and milliseconds. So if you want your child orders delayed in some way, if you feel like it's helpful, and again, keeping you anonymous and helping you get your size done, you can make that setting here. There's also a tick offset. Tick offset is could be a negative or a positive. If it's negative, in this example here, I will say I want to buy 50, and let's say I want to buy them at 39.55. Now, if I have a negative one offset here, if I go ahead and I click here, buy limit, we see our algo. If we look here, I have a negative one offset. That means once it trades, and I also have last trade here, so once it trades at 39.55, since I have a negative one, I'm willing to just go ahead and grab up to 39.55 and a quarter. So I'm willing to pay up a tick. You could even go positive. If I had a positive number in there, for example, a positive two, once that algo gets activated, I want to put my order down here. It would do that. But if you look here, my algo is activated, or it's working, I should see, and it's only going to be activated if it trades here at 39.55. Now, each algo has lots of different payup parameters that you could add to the child orders. Now, in this example of a sniper stop limit, I did not use any, but you can add payup models. So say your algo is activated say you don't have any tick offset it just starts it tries to grab everything it can at 39.55 um, but say you want to say well maybe if the opposite side gets under a certain quantity i want to so go ahead and start paying up so here this is where you can click simple and say oh man maybe the opposite side gets under 10 lots i want to go ahead and i'm willing to pay up a tick now each algo again has all these different parameters to help get your order done
Now, once your algo is executed, you can always come down to your filled orders section. You could right click on your order, and I like to go to filled orders info. Now, here I could see the average price right away of my algo. I could also look at group by price, and this would list out the individual legs if there were on what they were executed at. One thing you may want to add is over here on the left hand side under trade is this orders algo. If we left click there, I'm going to go ahead and add it down here. Actually, I'll drag it over here where I already have it. Now, orders algo is where you're going to find transaction cost analysis on some of your orders. So if you're interested in seeing, hey, what was my sweep to fill price? That is going to be found here. For an example of the transaction cost analysis info, I'm going to go ahead and go to our ALGO order ticket and I'm going to look at our CQG arrival price ALGO. The arrival price ALGO is a complex ALGO that looks at short-term volatility as well as drift signals and market implied volatility. The two standard benchmarks we hold this ALGO to is can it beat the mid price when it arrives into the market and is it better? Can it be better than sweeping to fill the market? So in this example here, I'm going to say I want to sell 50. And I'm not going to put a price in here. I'm going to come here. And I'm going to put market. I want to do 50 at the market. And I have a day order here. So that's perfect. And then I want to look here. And my algo, the arrival price algo, again, is going to look at all these signals. And it can work over a specific time. I could say start to end time. I could say a max duration saying I I'm only willing to work this algo for two minutes in this example. And the first point I would look at is the I would price. The I would price is the price you're willing to say, hey, I need to sell 50 of these, but the market right now is trading at 39.57. But if it got up to 39.59 within those two minutes, I'm, go I'm good with getting all of my quantity done. There's also different economic models. This is Kevin Darby, our algo creator's specific model. He has a white paper on it you could read about. You could also look at the different impact models. Um, there's also cost mode, aggressive, optimistic. Aggressive, I like selecting here. So say I'm willing to work my rival play price algo for two minutes. I'm willing to get you know if whatever unfilled quantity is there after two minutes it just goes ahead and gets it done so let's go ahead we're just going to go ahead and sail 50 at the market here and it's going to go ahead and start working and it has up to two minutes again to execute this order and we're starting to get fills here again this algo wants to beat the price the mid price it arrived at in the market and then it wants to be better than sweeping to fill the market so here we'll let it work. And while the algo is working here, I can always come to my book here. I can see my algo is working. I click this little I for information. And I can see the parameters that I've selected for my algo and just to double check them. Okay, it sped up time here. My algo finished here. If we look, we can go to our fills again down here or under orders filled. We could right click, go to filled order info. And again, this one's good to see, to see all the individual leg prices or if you just want an average fill price. Now we added that orders algo tab. If we come here, you're gonna see that little piece of paper here. This, if you click that, this is again, this is where you're going to see your transaction cost analysis. You can go ahead here and look at, you know, how well it did versus say sweep to fill, what your sweep to fill price is in this example. You can copy this here, paste it into an Excel file, whatever you like. Again, each algo has lots of different payup parameters that you can add to it, a lot of advanced parameters too. Um, I would go here under our execution technologies page. You can look at some simulated results, but you can read about the different models there are. You can also read about all the different parameters there are. You could also read Kevin's white paper in here on the arrival price and you could also come here and see a breakdown in the help menu of each algo just feel free to reach out at any time and we're happy to go over all of them